Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm James and this is the FMS F86 Sabre, it's an 80mm EDF. And I have a few videos out on this already. I did the open box review and the setup and then I did the maiden flight. And then I also did a landing gear repair, the front landing gear, did that video. But today I'd like to go over something that I think is one of the most important steps. Maybe it is the most important step when you're putting a plane together and that's getting the balance right. Now, setting up the balance on this plane is actually pretty simple. It's all in the instructions. So let me show you how I did it. And I did a few extra little things that you may find helpful. Like always, let's start with the instructions. So the manual that I have, it's on page 10. The upper part of page 10 goes over how to balance the plane. So the balancing point of the plane is gonna be measured from the leading edge at the wing root back toward the center of the plane and they give you the measurement here of 180 to 190 millimeters. Now what I did up here on top, as you can see, I have 180, 190, but I'm, I went with the middle. When I set mine up, I just set it for the average, which was 185 millimeters. Now the conversions on that are 7.1 inches, 7.3 inches, and 7.4 inches. Again, I went with this middle value. Uh, we start in the middle, and I think that's a good way to start, just kind of on the average, this dude right here. So then I just took my scale, and I have a nice one here. This has metric and standard or imperial on one side. So it's nice because it has both types of measurements. So what I did is I marked here on my scale the 185 millimeters, which is right here, right there. And then there's a reason I'm doing this, which I'll show you in just a second when we get to the plane. I just went straight across that and I marked it just like that. Just so that I can see that measurement better, okay? So again, that's again, you can kind of see it's about 7.3 inches at 185 millimeters. So our next step is to mark the balancing point on top of the wing here. Now, you can see that little blue dot? I already did that already. I already flown this plane. It's already been set up. So I did that previously, but here I'm just gonna show you how I did that. So again, here is our scale that we marked, right? And then I'm gonna use a straight edge and it doesn't have to be a scale this time, but just something that's straight. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the curvature of the airfoil. You know, it's not, it would be a little tricky just to get this lined up, you know, with that curve in it. So what I decided to do is I take this guy right here. Oh, there goes my little tank, take my, the scale like this and just sort of lined it up like that. And then I just used it as a way of sort of like keeping this thing lined up with that leading edge right there. So I just move this over here like that. And that's my location right there. So I just marked it. I'll make it a little bit bigger and there it is. And I did this on both sides. Now the thing about having the mark on there, you may not like having the mark, but I like having that because you know why? I could check the balance at any time I need to. If my battery for some reason or something gets jostled in here and I don't know for sure, I can just easily go and check my balance knowing where those are. I don't mind having those little dots on there. So now we can check our balance. So the way we're gonna do this is with gear up and I added, I left my fuel tanks on. You know, those are very light. Those are just foam. They're extremely light. They don't really play that big of a role, but I left them on. But this guy is what we have to think about. This is our battery pack, and I'm using pretty much the biggest one I think I can fit in there. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's a LiPo. It's a 22.2 volt. It's per the specs of the plane. And again, this pretty much, it fits in there, but I don't think you can get much bigger than this. But this is a heavy thing that is going to really impact the balance of the plane depending on where you put this. This is gonna be the thing, your battery is gonna be what you're going to be adjusting back and forth because it is a major player in the weight of the plane. I mean, you can play around a little bit with your receiver and stuff in there, but really, this is the dude right here we have to be careful about where we put this. Now let's go ahead and pop open the canopy and we'll place our battery. So a few things to note, again, this is a heavy battery. So what I did is I added a piece of Velcro to the bottom of this sort of battery tray and a piece on the back here, just to help it from sliding forward and backward. They give you some beefy straps here. 
um, to hold it down and in there and they're probably fine as is but I just like doing that just to make sure I don't want that moving back and forth so the other thing that I did is once I got the battery in the right location and I'm going to show you this once I got the battery in the light right location I marked on the battery where that was so I put a piece of tape on both sides as you can see here and I dropped it into the fuselage and then once I got that um, center of balance correct I just marked on the tape where that is and I also marked corresponding you can see here corresponding marks on the battery tray so now when I'm out in the field and I'm ready to fly I don't have to worry about where that battery is right I just go ahead and I drop it right on those marks and I strap it in and we're ready to go so now let's kind of go back in time before I did any of that and the way you would do this to set up your balance again is you would put your battery in where you think it sort of should be and you would get it in there strap it in there and then you would flip the plane put the canopy back on flip the plane over and hold the plane up on those two dots like this like that and see how it balances if it's nose heavy you want to push the battery back a little bit obviously if it's tail heavy you want to push it a little bit forward and you just kind of work back and forth it's sort of a trial and error process just work back and forth to get that balance correct once you get it correct you go ahead and mark it like i just showed you so now we'll go ahead and check the balance. I'll put my battery in where I've marked it already, which is right about there. And then we'll put our straps on. Now the thing I did notice with this battery again, because it's pretty big, is that if these sort of like this little plastic, I guess I'll call it a buckle, if that's on top, the canopy won't fit for this battery. So I just moved, I just rotated these or slid them to the side like that, got them, got them out of the way and they didn't inf interfere with the canopy at all, right, like that. Do this one. Okay, so that guy's in. We'll go ahead and drop our canopy on. You can see it barely, I just kinda got it, just like, kinda hits right here a little bit, but that's all right, I have room. And I pop it in here, I'm okay. I have seen some reviews of this plane that people have mentioned that the battery doesn't fit, like the bigger batteries. I don't know what sizes they're using, but this one definitely fits. This is a, a Liperior battery, and again, it's my 22.2 volt Liperior 5000 milliamp hour, and that actually fits in here nicely. Okay, so that's in. So now we can go ahead and flip it over and check the balance. Okay, again, we're going to go ahead and flip it upside down, like so. And then we're going to find my two dots. There's so one here. I'll put my finger on this one. Hopefully you can see that. One right here. And then I'll do the other side, which is right there. And we'll hold it up. And you can see it's balanced. All right. Awesome. Okay. Well, there we have it. The balance is now set, as you saw there. It's actually a pretty simple step. Just follow the instructions. Once you get this location marked, which was easy to do, all you have to do then now is just get your battery and move it back and forth and just play with it. Go back and forth, a little trial and error. Once you get that in the right location, mark it and you're good to go. So before I leave, I do want to mention a few things. If you go back to the maiden flight video that I did, again, this is the FMS F86 Sabre. If you go back to that maiden flight, you'll see that this plane flew great. I mentioned it in the video, it flew straight as an arrow. I had to do a little bit of trim here and there, but overall this thing just flew perfectly. I didn't have any issues with the balance. So that's kind of what I wanted to stress is that, you know, setting the balance is extremely important. You saw that it was a pretty easy step. I do not recommend ignoring that. I do not recommend going out, especially on a main flight, with not knowing where your balance is or if your balance is set correctly. Balance is one of the main things that helps provide stability to the plane. It's a self-correcting sort of feature that are built into planes. So when there are disturbances to the plane when it's flying, the balance allows the plane to sort of self-correct and kind of stabilize and level out and such. So it's super, super important. So please do that. Do not ignore it. Okay, well, that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching my channel. I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you next time.